Eight o'clock Sunday morning, must be keen. Come up here before we pop to old shop to have a watch. Straight in front of the car from last night. For someone dust cap themselves. <laughs> new bonnet on it because the other bonnet was scrap pulled the front round as best we can the car looks like a chewed up toffee but it goes really well so that's all the shop prep nearly done so one car ready for next weekend Wednesday afternoon 27th of March right people doing these videos Seb's racing Bodger's new ones the tits uh, there's a couple of really good brisk fresh ones Nigel Harvey and another one I follow Bloke doing mod stocks, there's a mini stocks one, Jack White's one's the, the nuts, much better than anything we're doing. So anyone that's watching this, I do really appreciate it. I'm filming it, filming it on a four and a half year old phone, but the socket doesn't work, so I can't run one of them speaker things until I get a new phone. I don't know how to edit stuff, I was just having a go. Somewhere to save the in-car stuff. If you're watching it, I appreciate it. I hope to make it better. But people coming up, Drivers giving Harry advice based on what they've seen. It goes a long way, it means a lot. It wasn't the reason we did the videos. The videos were just somewhere for us to be able to save the videos, but do really appreciate it. That's enough boring. Sierra. Should go to Coal Sour Fabrications tomorrow. Needs lots of love, wings fell off. Haven't had it running in months. Needs different suspension on it. Cage needs updating, seat needs changing, lots of things. Kingsland Saturday. That micro, that's the one we're fixing oil leak on if anyone's bothered to watch any of these videos. Tom did an oil leak on that. We may know oil seal. So hopefully that's resolved some of the issues we had. That's going to Kings in Saturday. Car we repaired on the truck there. We're going to Aldershot Sunday, last weekend of juniors. Can't decide how I feel about it at the moment. Kind of looking forward to it because I feel like we're done with juniors but also really enjoyed it, met some mint people, made friends on the journey, mega experience, done so much more than I ever thought we would. I keep saying it, I'm not a mechanic. To put that into context, when I built my first micro, I didn't know how to put a loom in the car. Focus, that's a project for another day. And then that'll be the next car races, then the Sierra. So, Going to quickly get the plugs ready, chuck, chuck the belts in this, get this car ready. Then tomorrow, Harry can come up with me to get the Sierra out to get that to Carl's. Then we can change the micros over, that's ready. We might pop to Mildon on Friday so he gets to watch his mates who we race with in Juniors who are doing good Friday teams at Mildon. If you're going to do your last Junior weekend, you might as well have a mad one. So we'll nip to Mildon, come home, go up the same road and go to Kings Lynn and come home, have about three hours sleep because the clocks go forward, and then nip to Aldershot. Fuck a weekend. Right, battery on that one. That one's ready for all the shot. That one we're just loading for Lynn. Change of plans, Sierra's going over to Carl's next week. Saturday morning, car's loaded, got a fair bit done. It's a bit sore, but it'll do for show. Gonna go and diesel up in a minute. Last one at King's Lynn is a junior. What we call our home promotion, even though it's 140 miles each way. It's the one we registered with first. They've always made us feel welcome, so bit of a sad day really. Chance I won't get to Kings Lynn as much as we'd like to in adults. Um, but we'll still try and do a few there because it is our favourite track. So let's go and do the expensive bit and diesel up. Quick update before we leave. So I got feedback early on when I started this. If you're sad enough to be watching these, think very much. But people said about the cost. So I done 69 quid down the garage in petrol and diesel. And I already had half a tank. So realistically, 100 quid's worth of fuel. 40 quid for me and the chef to get in tonight. Bit of dinner on the way home, so it's 200 quid night out, and I'll need more diesel to go to order shot tomorrow. That's the cost of racing, and that's on a transit on a lorry. Probably add nearly double it, I guess. Uh, and then anyone that's watched this, this is one we had a running issues with and oil leaks. It seems to be running fine. We changed the oil seal that's on the back of the box because we thought that would be leaking. It did show signs that it was that. But we do have a small patch of oil here still. Now what we don't know is how bad that's going to be once it's been running 10 minutes having the living life freshed off of it. So we may not have improved things is the reality. We may still have a horrendous oil leak. But 
Um, yeah, I don't know. I've run out of things to change. My, my little mechanical ability has run out of ideas. So that will be a suck it and see and see how we get on.
race at Kings Inn done. A bit weird really, knowing it's the last one. Uh, the car's smoking bad again, so it's doing the same as last time, but he drove an impeccable race. Just waiting on the result, I'm going to guess around six, but we'll, we'll find out in a minute. But yeah, she's smoking bad, so we'll have a look in a minute. See what's going on.